Today we're going to be discussing the splice tape with Shimon 1 and splicing the carrier tapes together using the splice tool. The splice tool works for all sizes of carrier tape between 8mm and 72mm. It doesn't matter if you're splicing the black, the white, or the clear. It works all the same with the splice tool. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the carrier tape using the cutting tool. Uh, you don't necessarily need the cutting tool, but it just gives you a much more accurate uh, cut when you're first starting. Then what we'll do is we'll raise the liner just a small little bit right there just to get it started on the, the, the new reel that we're starting. Just need to peel it back just about a 30 second of an inch. Then we will load the splicing tool with the splice tape with Shimon 1 centered on the alignment pins and then we will place the pieces of carrier tape in the splicing tool that we're going to be splicing. We have hold downs to hold down the carrier tape that way it doesn't wobble around and we will butt those two pieces up against each other and then we will crimp the tool. Once we crimp the tool we will remove the carrier tape from the splicing tool. We will remove this clear liner here and then we will fold over the cover tape connector and then we will press firmly on both sides. Once we press firmly on both sides we will remove the clear carrier and we will discard it. And so all you have is a splice on the top of the cover tapes and the splice on the bottom. It'll run seamlessly through all pick and place machines Fuji, Panasonic, Universal, Quad, Siemens, Juki, Sanyo, Samsung, MyData, basically all of them. Thank you very much.